What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to our junior year of our 99 overall running back simulation. I never know what to call this damn series. Already in week three because the first two weeks were bye weeks, the computer has tried to schedule Wisconsin every single season so far. So I gave in, let's play Wisconsin. We're actually coming in as an 83 overall team, 91 overall offense, 76 defense. We did lose our 88 overall D tackle who I didn't even know we had. Uh, most of our best players are seniors right now. There's going to be a couple positions that actually get better. Our offensive line is actually pretty good. Our center is an 88 overall, but he's a senior. He's out. But otherwise, we've got a pretty good team for this year only. And then we're going to fall off a cliff. So if we're going to do anything serious, this is going to be the year to do it. All right. So we forced them the punt on their first drive. Unfortunately, we're pinned to the six-yard line. Good news is we're probably going to run it. Pitch play, yeah, one yard. That's not Heisman worthy. Now, the good news is we have a quarterback who's a 90 overall now. He was a 72 overall sophomore that first year. He's come up 18 points. Nope. Oh, and the running game is just not there so far. To be fair, Wisconsin probably knows how to stop their own playbook. Oh, third and seven, they forced a fumble. We scooped it up, though, but still lost four yards on that. All right, I was going to keep going, but we're already down 14 nothing. We've only got 22 total yards. This isn't going well. I think we have more kick return yards than rushing yards right now, which is not good, no matter how good of a returning day you have. And still getting nothing done on the ground. And another strip sack, another turnover. Oh, no, our first turnover. I, it felt like we had one. Uh, yeah, that's all you're going to see here today. All right, well, that was an awful day. We lost 44-7. to 7. 10 rushes for 21 yards. Did get a touchdown. We had 10 broken tackles, but only managed to get 13 yards after contact. We tacked on one catch for 10 yards. We had four kick returns for 95 yards. All right, well, that was awful. Let's go to the end of the season. Hope that we qualify for our conference championship. Like I said, it's the best team we've had, and hopefully that's enough. All right, so this season was a, uh, a bit of a mixed bag. As you can see, we're 11-1, so we have not lost since we got blown out by Wisconsin. We smoked almost everyone we played. Now, obviously, we lost 44-7, but then 59-3, 52-20, 52-14, close win against ECU, 52-20, 52-7, 49-37, 45-20, 49-24, everything except for Marshall down here at the end, too. All blowouts. Now, why am I upset? Well, you'll notice something here on offensive team leaders, specifically rushing. You'll notice that that is Parham. He is the 88 overall backup running back. Why is he leading us in rushing, you might ask? For some reason, it has been a relatively even split between he and Frank Gore Jr. Now, Frank Gore Jr. has 10 rushing touchdowns, 840 yards, longest run of 20. Our quarterback has thrown for 3,572 yards and 44 touchdowns and two picks. So what's been happening, we've been leading so much that Parham's coming in and getting all these runs at the end of the game. There's no injuries or anything like that. It's not that we're running a dual back system. It's that we're up, you know, 40 points or whatever going into the fourth quarter, so Frank Gore Jr. gets benched. I mean, I'm sure that we're doing a little bit of a two-back system sometimes. That always happens, except for when I'm playing for some reason. So, I'm sure that's part of it, but the carries Frank Gore Jr. is still leading. So he's obviously still the starter. In the depth chart, he's the starter. It's just been that many blowouts. But I told you guys we'd have a good year. We're not going to play the conference championship. I don't know if we're going to win or lose. We should smoke them. We're like 10 overall points better than them. So we're just going to advance forward. I just wanted to show you guys what was going on there before we advance. And back to the Liberty Bowl. We're taking on LSU. Even more SEC teams. But hey, we won Coach of the Year. And that's it. Probably not even going to make All-American this year. Whew, that defense. This one might not go well. But it'd be great if it did. Well, after the conference championship, we added about 120 yards, so we're back to leading the team. And we're just going to take a knee here. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, we're not even a thousand yards on the season yet, so hopefully we can pass that today. Only need 50 yards. Then again, we only got 21 against Wisconsin, so I guess that might be a big ask. Well, our quarterback is definitely having an impressive season. Over 4,000 yards now. Not who we're supposed to be focused on. And UMass just won a bowl game down there over number 21 Louisville. This is the season from hell. First rushing attempt, Sagan down for four yard loss. All right. There's a decent run. All right, now we're at one yard on the day. All right, so we kicked the field goal. Thank they you. then threw a pick immediately afterwards. Uh, and the runs just are not happening that well today, even when the computer does it, so it's not just me. Well, we're inside the 30. Let's take a shot. We'll probably do three drives today, because that first one, I don't even know if I said anything. I think we got nope. one whole yard. Yeah, see? It doesn't help that this quarterback seems to think he's a Heisman front runner. Like, who do you think you are? That was a great run, though. Hey, we're in for a touchdown. All right, six yards. Hey, we just got a safety on them. Sweet. All right, I'm going to jump in. We're in the third quarter. They just missed a field goal. We got a 12-point lead. Let's see if we can't extend it. All right, decent run. We have 95 rushing yards as a team. 52 to Frank Gord. So there we go. We are over 1,000. There's that at least. No one picked up that guy. Fighting forward, uh, third and inches. You gonna give it to your 99 overall running back? On third and inches, you gonna trust me to get it? Nope, play action. Okay, slide. Why do you do this to yourself? He gave himself a concussion. There's a nice, uh, handoff. It only got three yards, but at least we got the ball. Alright, I guess we're taking a field goal. I don't know if we're going to come back to this one, so here's hoping we hold on to a lead. All right, so they did a decent job. We missed a couple field goals, so 22-22 uh, here. I don't think we're going to see the ball that much unless there's like a screen pass. But let's see if this quarterback can do something. It's like no sense of urgency here. We don't have a good uh, kicker. Like, we got to run a hurry up when we get a first down. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we can just connect for a 24-yard catch. He's going to take off again. Good block. Ah, doesn't quite get the first. What the hell is the computer doing? This is not field goal range for us. All right. They seem to think it is. Well, not when you take a sack, it's not. All right. <laughs> He's missed two field goals today, and as long as he's 45. Can you do this from 52? Yes, he can. I should not have doubted them. All right, defense gets a sack to clinch the game for us. Great season. Not individually, but as a team. Which one's better? Well, for us, it's individual, obviously. All right, decent day. It didn't start very well, but we ended up with 92 yards, a touchdown, nine broken tackles, no fumbles. So we maintained that through the whole season. One touchdown. We also added on two receptions for 23 yards. And as we always do, let's jump and see our final season stats. All right, so on the season, we finished with 1,042 yards, 13 touchdowns, 39 broken tackles, zero fumbles. Wow, 48 receptions, 801 yards, and 14 touchdowns. Well, we got it done through the air, at least. No blocking or defensive stats. We had 522 yards on kick returns and 268 yards on punt returns. All right, so that one will wrap up this season. What an incredible year, 13-1. and one. And like I said, what will probably be our best overall team. Now, I don't know, won't, will it be our best season? Not sure. A lot of FCS teams next year, I think, but we're just going to be going for the Heisman. All individual glory next season. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Have any suggestions for any other players I should be doing in some of these group of five schools? Leave that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.